Hi, and thanks for joining us. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing for the Rainbow High Fantastic Fashion Runway Dress for Amaya. And it looks like my Amaya lost a hand in transit, so that's rather unfortunate, but we will fix that. So let's take a look at the box first. Uh, these new boxes, I actually love the fact that they have uh, like a separate section just for the doll. I think that it makes for a great way to keep them if you want to keep them actually attached to that inner piece of box and then you could line them up on a shelf with their individual backgrounds. I think that for people who like to have a background behind their doll. I've seen a few people on YouTube that do that. So I think it's a great option for those who do that. It's tempting for me. I don't know. It was, uh, it would take up a little bit more space, but I think it would look cool. So on the box, Amaya's in pink and purple box. On the back, we have the entire group in their runway dresses. And these new boxes have a handle on top, which I'm happy about. And on the upper corner, we've got, looks like some chains. And in the lower corner, yeah, just chains. That's what we look on every single one. So, uh, anyways, let's get her open and see how she looks, shall we? Okay, she's out of the outer box, and we have Amaya. She looks absolutely beautiful. I love her ponytail. I think she looks stunning. I'm interested to see how she looks all the way around. Let's see if we can get her hand placed back in there. I don't really like it when their hands come off, but that's okay. All right, let's get these tags snipped. And I know that I'm really excited for the Sunny and Luna 2-pack, and I kind of wish they had shipped those first. I bought Sunny and Luna first, but the runways shipped right away. So I'm just glad that we got these as quickly as we did. Let's see if that's gone all the way through. Looks like her hand down here is not attached with one of these um, tags, but the one on top is. her. All of the dresses have been attached to the bottom of the box, so I'm just going to give you a heads up on that because these dresses are extremely uh, delicate and if you don't know that they're attached and you pull on the doll, you'll likely rip the dress or at least damage it. So just be aware there are multiple tag jibbers attached to the bottom of the dress. And it's not just a matter of freeing the doll um, on these runway dolls. So. There's her comb. We do not get hangers, which I'm sad about because we do have a second outfit. And it's just kind of an iconic thing to have the hangers, but we don't have hangers in these. So all you have is the comb. Let me see if I can get her out of here. One second, this one's being stubborn. Okay, that was a little bit of a feat. I'm not going to lie. That uh, that was a little difficult to get her out. There are tags that go through the back of the ponytail and into the hair. So just be careful cutting the tags because they are going right through the ponytail, which it's hard to get the hair out of the way without cutting it. So her hair is very has a lot of product. I'm trying to get so you can see it, but there's, I don't know if you can, there is a lot of product. I don't know why it's straight hair. It's very, yeah, I mean, it's just perfectly straight. So I'm not sure why it needed product in it, but there is product at least in this one quite a bit, actually. 
um, it's pretty much glued. There's her rainbow hair inside with the silver strands as usual. Let's see if we can get to the silver. There it is right there. Same colors as the other Maya. And in the front we have her white stand as usual. And we've got her white ponytail, high pony with the wraparound hair at the top. She has different eyebrows. The new eyebrows are, they look more natural because they have brown, little the little uh, whoop, diagonal lines instead of the white ones. And they have a fade. And, however, they are straight instead of arched. So definitely adds a different flair to the face. And I don't know, some people may or may not be a fan of that. I think the old style of eyebrows looked a little better. These look, they look okay. I just don't know why they changed them. She has a sheer rainbow skirt on bottom and it has a mermaid style at the bottom as well which is very pretty. She's got purple on one side and blue. She's got red, yellow, and green in the front. And this side over here is the red and orange, which wraps back around to yellow and green in the back. She has a pearlescent white sheer wrap around with a silver belt. It's very, very soft. Underneath is, looks like a white let me see. Yeah, it's like a mini dress underneath, if you can see that. It's very short. It's hard to get it up that high, honestly. It's very tight. So, sorry. Now she's covered in hair. The front is the same as the back. It has this white pearlescent pleated material with a silver belt. And then on the bust, she has the rainbow on the top as well. Very pretty. And of course, once again, you have the short white dress underneath with the sheer starting about mid thigh. Her shoes are silver heels with rainbows. I love the rainbows across the toes and rainbows on the heels as well. Sorry, it's hard to keep this dress up. She's got a split in the back to get these on and off a little easier. She has very cute, chunky, thick heels, which I love. You can see these silver chunky heels. I'm loving those. Those are absolutely adorable. And then she's got like a buckle strap around the ankle. Love it. Love it. Working our way up, she has beautiful long white nails this time. They are very long. I believe every single one of them has very, very, very long nails this time. So some of you like that. A lot of people like that. I don't really have a preference, but they are definitely beautiful long nails. She's got two silver with it looks like white flower bracelets one on this side and on this side she's got another white flower bracelet here and this one looks more like silver with kind of like white x's across the whole band very cute then on her she has her usual blue and purple eyes she has a very peachy pink color, like a salmon color lipstick. She has tiny little blush, just a very small hint of blush. Mine is slightly uneven. This one is here and this one is up here by her eye. So mine's uneven. Hopefully yours isn't, but they're just tiny little hits of blush on her cheeks <laughs> or her cheekbone. Uh, she does have a very faint hue of, gosh, it's hard to tell if it's blue or purple. It's very faint, at least on mine it is. So it's a very, very, very light 
I think it looks like lavender, but it could be, it could be a shade of blue. It's hard to say. Uh, I'm going to call it lavender, just a very light shade of eyeshadow there around the corner of her eyes on the exterior. On the interior of her eyes, she has gold glitter, which extends above the eyelid with like an eyeshadow. And then there is a kind of a red color eyeshadow right there on the inside as well. They have, seems like their eyelashes are a little bit longer this time. I could be wrong. It just seems like they are a little longer. It's hard to see that, but and uh, yeah, light brown eyebrows, which have a nice fade as they go across. And other than that, yep, you just got her white hair. And that's about that for, for the doll. Then you've got her stand and her comb. And I will get her second outfit and we will take a look at that in just one minute. Okay, here is her second outfit it's still in the box. And as you can see, we have a white dress, which is very similar to her original, uh, the original Amaya outfit and a matching white purse. Very cute. Looks like a functional bag, which Skylar's is not. So that's nice to see and her sketchbook and pencil, which they all come with in this series. Um, these look like lockers. They're very cute. They have little shelves and like a little artwork, like a, like a bedroom or something. This is just a cardboard stand, but it's cute for the box anyways. So yeah, very cute if you like those things to keep them or to display them. It's definitely a nice way to package them. I will get them out and we'll take a look at them. All right, we've got it out of the box. And here is the second dress. As you can see, it has a white pleather and has the little rainbow stitched strapping across the bodies and has gold lettering. So this strap, we have a gold R. This strap has an H. We have RH across the Empire waistline. And you've got rainbow stitching on the bustier portion. Then you have magic in gold lettering here. You have sparkle, rainbow, and high. So very cute. You've got some like belt loops every, well, around, around the lettering basically. You have belt loops and belt loops in the back. You've got your Velcro in the back. So super cute. It's a very soft faux leather. I like it. It feels, feels nice actually. So if you want to see roughly what it's going to look like on her, it would look something like that. If I can get it a little more, her arm looks a little, little broken there. We can get it a little more picturesque here, huh? So yeah, I think it would be cute. Super, super cute. So that would be her second dress and then you've got her white sketchbook, which is all plastic, says rainbow high on the front and is, a, mm, I can't tell if it's pearlescent. It might be pearlescent white and it has faux spiral, spiral back. They have silver, they look like legitimate spirals. And inside you have her dresses for her sketch. So once again, the interior is all plastic, so nothing's going to get ruined. And she comes with a little white pencil, which is made to hold in her hand. And of course, her adorable little bag. This is probably the most adorable thing. I mean, I think it's a, uh, a great addition to the box. She doesn't have any earrings. She doesn't have a necklace. I was a little surprised they don't come with really any jewelry. So it's nice that her and Skylar at least have bags. 
Yes, it does. Okay, I was going to say it's got to open. So it has Velcro here. It's made out of the same... Actually, no, it's not. Sorry. This is more of a faux snake leather. You can kind of see it's shiny, and you can see the texture. And then it has the same rainbow stitching. And here it says RH in gold on the buckle. And it has a gold... Uh, catch for the tab right there and then the base is gold which is very nice it helps it sit flat which is always good and has little gold buckles as you can see here and gold uh, studs right here on both sides it's got microscopic little buckle tabs as you can see right here and then the strap that is white at the top it's hard to tell oh it looks like okay yes it is a continuation of the snake skin faux snake skin and when you open it it actually has like a plastic container inside so it's actually like a a solid square base it's not soft on the inside so it's going to retain that shape which is nice it's not going to collapse and it doesn't need a plastic filler to keep that shape held so that is very nice I am pleased to see that they did that it will definitely help maintain the look of the bag over time so let's see if we can get it to stay on her shoulder at least her arm and there it is let's see if we can put her put her little pencil in her hand maybe there we go and voila there you've got her she's very beautiful thanks for being here thanks for joining us again and in the comments please tell me if you are planning on getting a Maya, do you like her? What is your favorite thing? What is your least favorite thing? Do you, whoa, do you buy duplicates? And we will see you next time. Thank you and see you later.